What's up, what it do, cyber world? It is your girl, the one, the only Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Said It Show. On this program, we've got a little over 1,800 episodes. We're really on the, we're on the heels of 1,900 episodes, and I cannot believe it. Started the show back in 2014, and it, this is insanity. Insane. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys for all of your love, all of your support, all the shares, the cares. Makes a huge difference. Today, we are joined by an author extraordinaire herself, the wonderful Kelly Brown. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> hey, Ash. Hello from Los Angeles. How are you? I am great. Now, what kind of weather is Los Angeles having today, Kelly? Because I feel a little jealous. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, um, there's nothing more fabulous than Atlanta. Mm. But today, we've had, it's been crazy weather. Like, we've had a few tornadoes in the last two days. It's been nice. raining crazy. And I'm saying it's earthquake weather. Insane. That's what I said here. It's crazy. So. It is wild. Wow. Well, the weather in Georgia is not wonderful right now because, like, we have, we'll wake up to, like, 28-degree weather, and by the afternoon, it's 75. So we're like, mm. oh, my gosh. Everybody I had no said- idea it was that cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it gets, Georgia is, I like to say Georgia is bipolar because it oh, just chooses, <laughs> it chooses its battles very, very interestingly. So Georgia's strange. So we, we've kind of just learned to just accept the the craziness and just uh keep moving (laughs) well i love georgia but we'll talk about that yes all right so your book 101 ways to handle hurtful situations with mindful forgiveness what was the inspiration behind this project so actually um I was originally asked to, after my thank you notebook series to write a book about apologies. Mm. And as I started to get into it, I, I really didn't have a lot of motivation because just writing a, a book with, you know, like templates of I'm sorry that that happened. Mm. There was no heart behind it. Right. Mm. And I went through a like we all have trauma in our lives. We Mm. all have horrible things that happen to us. Mm -hmm. And I had gone through a terrible um, my parents were in the worst environmental disaster in the history of the U.S. called it was the Alicia Canyon gas disaster. And Mm. it was an oil well that that blew. Mm. And my mom got uh, cancer from it. And. As this was happening, my daughter was thrown from a horse and broke her neck. Oh, goodness. So it was like, Jesus, what? I mean, seriously, what? What? Like, mm. I can't even breathe. Like, how am I going to get through this? Mm. And I, after going through years of emergency rooms and things like this, like, it took a, a toll on me. Yeah. And, you know, you have two choices. Mm. You can either get up. And be resilient or lay on the floor. Mm. And I went through some trauma training with my child and I learned some tools and, you know, I believe in the power of prayer, obviously. And yep. And um, if it wasn't for me asking for help, Mm. I don't don't know how I would have gotten through it. I literally Mm. prayed, please show me the way, show me, help me. And when I got through this, I went back to the publisher and I said, um, I not, I cannot do this book without forgiveness. Mm. And, and it has to be called mindful forgiveness. Mm. Because we have to be able to, you know, like release things because these things that we're carrying mm-hmm. are so damaging oh, yeah. that they're making us sick. Mm-hmm. And that's what was happening to me. Wow. I had to make a conscious choice. And that's, I had to be mindful. Mm-hmm. And I had to, like, you know, being mindful comes in all different forms, mm-hmm. right? People can be m- mindful by meditating. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I will pray. Right. I will listen to music. I will, you know, go to, there's all kinds of things that you, tools, yeah. right? Right. And so I really, I mean, I, I don't tell everybody this, but I literally sat down at the computer and I would pray every day and say, show me what you want me to say. Mm-hmm. So mm. I, you know, 
my mom would say there before the grace of God, I had no choice yeah. but to have a faith that I and that I would find my way and help my parents and help mm-hmm. my child mm-hmm. and help other people. Mm-hmm. So the book really, um, we were talking about it before the call. I read a book uh, from Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who I think is like the bomb.com. Oh, yeah. And his, and his daughter, um, Reverend Mofu Tutu. And um, their work on um, getting, not, not getting over, because how do you get over anything? But, mm. you know, how they helped heal South Africa from the ravages of apartheid. Mm-hmm. This is important work. Yeah. This is healing work. How do you forgive your murderer, your captor, mm. people that have t- killed your family, mm. that have taken you to the ground? And this is like something I resonated with. Like I worked in Georgia for six months. I told you I worked on the motion picture glory Mm -hmm. and I resonated with this. And I thought, Oh, we need, as you were saying, we need to heal. Yeah. We need, we need these tools. And the archbishop didn't win that Nobel peace prize for nothing. What he has to say is important. And so I, brought some of his work into my book. I showed it to his daughter, Mofu Tutu, and she gave me the blessing on the cover. Mm. And that, uh, more than anything, that was so, like, it was like a hello from heaven. You're like, you're doing a good job. So that is kind of like the short story of how it all came to be. And girl, we got to get up (laughs) and keep going. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to, we have to keep pushing forward because there's so many things that are in, you know, as far as like in in our way, challenges, hurdles, Um, you know, we're talking about race and we're talking about sexism. I mean, there's Mm -hmm. so many things that are stacked against us. And that's why I love to have people like yourself on my show, because there's so many women out here, like you just sharing and talking about your creation of this book you know this Mm -hmm. is going to help someone in some way whether they get the book or whether they're inspired to to do like you maybe write their own book you know we we just never know how we're going to inspire someone to do something greater you know for themselves or for their community exactly and you know what if I didn't have that faith in myself Mm -hmm. and say hey you know, when I wrote the, the first book, which is a book on how to write a thank you note, but it was really on, it's, well, it's still out. It's been a bestseller, actually. It's, it's 101 ways to say thank you. But mm. if I didn't write that down and sit at the computer and write that out and try, I didn't, I don't have a fairy godmother. No one's going <laughs> to tap me on the shoulder and pick me. You know, I, I had to make it happen. Yeah. I had to show up for myself. And I think that, you know, so many times because of our upbringing or because of, you know, a lack of education or like Mm -hmm. I didn't finish school. I actually went back to school later in life. And um, you think you're not good enough. Like, you know, nobody would want to hear what you have to say. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to try. Mm -hmm. Just going to try. And when it got sold, I was shocked, but mm. I thought, Oh my gosh, like my kids will be proud of me. Yes. You know, I have, that's, that's like one thing that, that I really, you know, your, your people, your chosen people in your life. It's not always family. No. Fam- family is who we choose mm-hmm. to have in our life. It's not always blood, No. but no. some of these people show up for us in ways yeah. that are, indelible on our heart right oh, yeah say it you're, you're speaking truth yeah. today <laughs> you are yeah. speaking the truth girl i'm so glad i'm speaking to you ash I, i'm like i love you I'm so i love glad. you too i love your energy yeah. i love you know just everything about you and you just putting you know you're letting your light shine because i feel like that that's what Aww. you do with all of your projects is you're letting your light shine and you're you know a bit vulnerable too but you know that yeah. it's doing more good. Um, and I guess that's kind of how you, you're able to kind of move forward and continue to do these things because you know that it's doing some good. You know that it's doing good. Yes. 
Yes, but you know, anytime like you you write a book like this, you hope that people see it. Mm-hmm. You know, you hope that people take the time. This isn't a book that like you would read cover to cover like a novel. Mm-mm. It's it's a book that you go in and you get right to the heart of the matter for what you need mm. and how how you can start. Look at if, if I were to say Ash, you know. T- enough's enough get over that well that that happened to you last year or you know that cheating man or whatever you know like whatever it is in your life and you you think god you know that really hurt me kelly i can't i cannot my feelings are not a switch i can't just get Mm -hmm. over it you know Mm -hmm. and i think that when you start going through some of the 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 wisdom in the book from not not just like who am i but like like Desmond Tutu or, you know, uh, these prayers or these exercises, you start to unravel Mm. these heavy feelings that you're carrying. And you start to say, like, the person that hurt me doesn't even care. Mm -mm. So why am I upset? Exactly. You know, and you start to look at it from a different life lens. Mm -hmm. And as women... We need to start respecting ourselves yeah. and not deciding if that man likes me or that, mm-hmm. you know, or anybody or the job or whatever. Am yeah. I good enough for you? Hell no. Mm-mm. Are you, am I, are you good <laughs> enough for me? We need to change it around yeah. that, that, that we need to take our power back. Yeah. We absolutely do. So, and and I love right. you saying that because I am right on around the, you know, um, I'm going to be 40 in a couple of weeks <laughs> and I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm 57. So. I, I, no, but I'm really to that point now in life, Kelly, where yeah. I really, I don't care if people like me or not. I don't. Right. I am going to put my peace above everything. I mm-hmm. have, you know, left boyfriends and they've had all kinds of issues and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we'll, we'll say that stuff for the after show. But, um, right. <laughs> but no, but I am, I'm to a point now in life where my happiness is everything. And anyone that comes right. into my life or anyone that's in my life that is not pouring back into me as I pour into them. No, no, we're not doing right. that. I've done that many times over, not doing it again. Anybody to try to break my peace, they got to go. I'm not here for right. it. Not at all. Because, uh, you know, 100%, you really need a partner. Yeah. Somebody who's lifting you up mm-hmm. and excited for you, not jealous, but, you know, honors honors you. And it's hard to find. It's a very, it's difficult, hard to find. very difficult thing to find. And then, you know, there's a lot of just people in this world today that are just they're selfish they're self-centered it's all about them and Mm -hmm. um no we're not going that route again i'm like look it's all about me well you're selfish well you know what maybe i should be (laughs) right and so you you bring up a really good good point about um relationships and i think that when you go through this book it sheds a light of awareness on are your family upbringing and things that happened in your life and relationships that you became familiar with, Mm -hmm. like with your parents or whatever, or the the dad that's not around or the mom that didn't hug you or whatever Mm -hmm. it is. And we seem to choose those similar relationships in our lives because they're familiar. Right. So when you start hitting you know, 40, 50 or whatever, it's because you're, you're suddenly like wiser, mm-hmm. smarter because you have life experience and you start to think, oh, wait a minute. No wonder I keep choosing that mm-hmm. because I haven't healed it in myself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, I don't know how many times in the Bible it says, you know, do unto others and, or <laughs> forgive all <laughs> that. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's one thing to do it. It's one thing for a teacher or a parent to say, just say you're sorry. Mm. But there's no there's no emotion behind that. There's no, no. I, I call it the spirit of intention. If there's no remorse, if there's no recognition that someone caused you harm, it is hard to 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 let it go. Yeah. But you have a choice. You, you can either stay on the ground or be resilient and get up and keep on walking. Yeah. And, and that's another thing, even though like you have someone has wronged you or done wrong to you or whatever, 
you can in your mind create peace with it or forgive them or whatever Mm -hmm. doesn't mean you have to continue having them in your life say it say it kelly say yeah, it. it does not mean they have to <laughs> stay in your life i love it i that's something that's that right. i that is something also that i've i've learned in the last couple of years um mm-hmm. i've forgiven some people and i've i've forgiven what they've done to me or whatever the case is but we don't have to be friends we don't have to be that's family right. we don't have to be in each other's lives at all and it's been one of the most freeing things for me it's been yes. so freeing yes i love it because you really think that, okay, well, you know, everything is going to, oh, again, I go back to the book of forgiving mm-hmm. where they, they, they talked about, you know, are you look at when something egregious happens an affair or, uh, you know, like, you know, bodily harm or an accident or, or, mm-hmm. or lying or whatever, how do you go back to that relationship oh. the same? You can't. You right. cannot. Especially when trust is broken. Um, I mean, I've had several friendships in throughout the years with people that I grew up with, people that I was in school with and stuff, would spend the weekends at my house with me and my family that, you know, for whatever reason betrayed me or whatever the case is. I can't look at you the same way again. I right. can't. Right. Because once people show you who they are, mm-hmm. It never changes. My mom would say a leper doesn't change its spot. Mm-hmm. It really it really is true. And yeah. we can forgive people a hundred times. And people in our lives that are alcoholics or drug addicts or mm-hmm. whatever, you know, they have their own journey. Yeah. But, you know, it doesn't mean that you you can still have them in, in your life, but hold it in a different way. Yeah. You know, yeah, it um, it's your life. Yep. It's your decision. No matter what, if anyone tries to shame you and say that, you know, they said they're sorry, what's wrong with you? Oh, mm, no. Mm-mm, Got to go. No. Right. Thank you so much. But, you know, you have to draw boundaries because mm-hmm. especially if you're a sensitive person. Yeah. Like, why do you want some, someone toxic to keep taking from mm-mm. you? No. And I'm an, right? and I'm an empath. I, I, I kind of mm-hmm. self-diagnosed a few years ago. I feel Mm -hmm. people's feelings, you know, without them even saying a word, I can feel their energy. And I had to come to the realization that people know that about me as well. And they're going to try to get over on that or whatever the case is. And yeah, I'm to a place in my life now where I'm just happy just for me. That's it. Um, I'm not right. here for anybody else. If if you're a good person, we can be in each other's lives and we'll, you know, uplift one another and things of that nature. But if you're negative and you do nothing but take from me, no, nah, keep it moving. Right. Keep it right. moving. Right. Thank so you. I think this is really important, especially for everyone listening to shine that light of illumination on, our, on your lives mm-hmm. and say, oh, wow, like... Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to set boundaries. Yeah. Or if, like, even if they're small, mm-hmm. but start recognizing that, you know, when people take pieces of you, they're not giving it back. Mm-hmm. And they're going to continue to take those pieces. Mm-hmm. So there's lots of, uh, in the book, I also have, like, like ways that, uh, to support yourself or numbers you can call and... You know, we're in this, I, I really believe, like, we're in this, on this earth, we're in this life to learn. Yes. We yes. are here to learn. Mm-hmm. We're going to make mistakes. Absolutely. We're going to say stupid things. <laughs> we're going to wish we hadn't done this or spent time with so-and-so. But what did you learn from that? Mm. You know? So self-forgiveness is a really important thing. Yeah, it it is. really is. And, you know, the only person who's like, if someone chooses not to forgive you, okay, well, then I need to move on. Because yeah. you cannot continue to hold that over my head. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's and shame problem. me, right? Yeah. Once you do the time, it's time to move on. Yeah. Time to move on. And keep it moving. Kelly, thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. We yes. appreciate you so very much. And you absolutely have to come back. 
Because I know yes. that you got some other stuff cooking and we couldn't really get into that stuff yet, you know? Went for the ink to yeah. dry, but you got to come back. I, I definitely I would love for you back on the show. And let everyone know the best way to get the book. Okay, so the book, it's 101 Ways to Create Mindful Forgiveness. And it is on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. It's, if you follow me on Instagram, it's Kelly Brown with an E6. And um, I've got, I have a website, kellybrown.net, but everything is all connected through those platforms. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's even at Target and it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, God. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so grateful. Yes. And congratulations on that. That is definitely amazing much more success and like i said i know that you got some more stuff out there we probably couldn't get into today but next time okay. all right where you, you get exclusives time. exclusives yes. i love it yes. <laughs> and i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you so much for all of your love and support keeping in mind anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do you look them square in the face you tell them don't believe me just watch watch what i do watch me make it happen watch me make mm-hmm. history that's what we're doing this for the history books Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.